As we continue our exploration of the Play Framework using Scala, we're getting really close to being done with our second version. This is the version that uses jQuery's AJAX calls that are giving us HTML. So where we left off last time was I had just added the AJAX call that handles the CSRF token for doing the login. And offline, I added basically identical code to create user, delete task, and add task. It worked just fine for create user, but I got interesting errors for delete task and add task. Now the error message I got said that there was no token in the header. So I spent some time playing around with how to get tokens in the headers, uh, and none of those actually fixed the problem. So I wound up adding the, the solution to this, wound up being that when I add the session, either at login and validate or at create user, I, in addition to adding a username, I add the current CSRF token. Adding that into the session fixes things just fine. Okay, so, so this code is now happy. And the question is, what's wrong with it? Well, what's wrong with it is the fact that when we log in, if you hit F5, you come back to the login page. Okay, F5, a refresh, should not do should not do that. You're used to going to websites where if you refresh the page or even if you like close the tab and then go back to it, because you were still logged in, until you hit log out, it should take you to the main page. Whereas I'd have to re-log in here. And the question is, why is that happening? Um, once we figure that out, then we have a chance of fixing it. Well, we always go to this load here. Okay, routes wise, we're always pulling in slash load two, and that is calling load, which is calling version two main. So this is the template that we're bringing up. It has a whole bunch of hidden variables now for the various aspects of uh, the routes that we're using. It has an empty div with the ID of contents, and then it calls a script. So note, this doesn't have the login page on it, it also doesn't have a task list on it. This actually has basically nothing on it. Where is the login page coming from? Well, one of the first things that our JavaScript is doing is getting, it gets all of the routes, and then it calls this Ajax load on the login route. Okay, and so that login route right now is hard-coded to be task to login, which gives us the login to view, and that's our login page. So the real problem fundamentally comes down to the fact that this login route is always hard-coded to be login. And I don't want that to be the case. I want it to be so that this can do something different based upon whether or not we're already logged in. So I'm gonna change this. Instead of now, here I'll just say I have a start route and I will pass that in is a string. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and eh. I was thinking of hitting a log out, but I'm, I'm not logged in right now. Uh, and if I try to recompile, this won't work because this now needs to be passed in here. Except what we pass in here depends upon whether we're already logged in. How do we know if we're logged in? Well, we have that check down here. Remember, it's whether or not we have a session that includes a username. If we have that, then we're logged in. Otherwise, we're not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the code from delete, and then I'm going to make it a lot simpler. So in the case where we have a username, we will pull up the version to main, and in this case, we should pull up the task list. Okay, now I'm going to, for a second, put in login to. It turns out that putting an empty string here would cause us some, some interesting problems. Otherwise, and then here I'm actually going to use reverse routing. Uh, I don't need the at sign. 
I get so used to typing those in because that's what I have to do over here. Um, okay. So well, then this should not be copy, paste. Okay, so when you call load, uh, right now these are both going to go to login, uh, but yeah, that way we can test this and see how many typos I have and if we get it to work. Nope. Um, routes task to login. Oh, and it required a string. That is correct. So this technically gives us something called a call, but it should be the appropriate string. And in fact, there we go. So I can log in. I can log out. Uh, but of course, if I hit F5, I still come back to here because right now, when we're logged in, we go, we pull up this text. What we need now is we need a route that gives us the task list. And an interesting thing is, we don't have one of those yet. Okay, we return the task list in a lot of places. Uh, when you successfully log in, we give back task list too. If you create a user, we give back task list too. When you delete, we give it back. When you add, we give it back. But all of these are in response to doing other things. We don't have a simple route like we do here with login for the task list. So let's make one of those. So the task list is an action. And it's going to give us back an OK of views.html dot task list two only one problem with that task list two needs an argument okay, down here when we're doing this we have the username uh, yes so we need to pull the username out of the session in order to be able to do this based the only difference is I don't need any of these post values and I'm not removing a task. So, so we check for the username. If it exists, we will give back the task list for those things. Otherwise, we'll actually give them back the login page. So if, if they call up the task list uh, when they aren't logged in, as opposed to throwing them some error or something like that, we'll just make them think that they're back on on the login page. So now this task list needs to be added to our routes and I feel like it should probably go right after how about these two? Oh actually no let's put it it's a get. So get of slash task list two controllers task list two task list. Okay, so we have a route for this and now we can stick that route up in here routes dot task list to dot task list dot to string. Okay, let's recompile refreshing our page. Oh my gosh, you're just, just there. The fact that I did a refresh and I came to here. Let's try this from the beginning though. Log in, F5, F5, refresh keeps us here, log out, takes us back. Okay, at this point, we have a fully functioning version of our task list that uses Ajax calls and is basically a single page app. Everything is done in this one page replacing the contents with the stuff that we want. Now it did this through HTML views. Version three is gonna do this by having the Ajax calls basically communicate using JSON. So instead of giving back HTML, we're gonna give back JSON and we're gonna use JavaScript to build the page. So we're gonna have a lot more JavaScript in there and have a lot more of the logic on the JavaScript side as opposed to having it uh, happening 
over on, on the server side by building templates. But we have a working version now, so we'll come back and we'll, we'll start the next version in subsequent videos.